Hey guys, it's Candace the Grandest, and today we're talking about 30 ways that you can celebrate Valentine's Day. Whether in a relationship or single, let's get started. Let's start with the mini haul. Keep in mind I live in Florida and temperatures are a lot warmer around this time of year. Okay, okay. I definitely love the bubblegum color, the balloon sleeves, and the tied waist bodycon. I would definitely wear this to brunch and something casual like this for lunch or grabbing drinks with my girlfriends. Text them all a nice invitation of the where and when. Tell them all to dress up in red or pink. That would be super cute. Girl, this is giving me sex in the city vibes. The color looks amazing on my skin tone and I'd probably wear this to lunch or an early dinner. I love that this is simple and stylish and I love the heart detailing on the neckline. Throw on a trench coat or cute long white duster and you're all set. This is also giving sexy classy vibes with the champagne colored bodysuit and the hot pink wide leg pants with frills at the waistline. Very girly, very chic. Ladies, you can't go wrong with a red bodycon. This is what Johnny Gill was singing about in that My 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 song. It's super sexy, dinner out with the girlfriends or with the boo. Yes, bedtime clothes matter, okay? Pajamas, loungewear. You still want to look cute, you still want to look sexy. This is definitely in the spirit vibes. And all of these pieces were affordable. I love the quality, the fabric is also nice and soft. I love, love, love the heart detailing on each of these. And this last two piece was absolutely my favorite. This was definitely the winner. If you dress your body, why not dress your home? Decorating is so much fun. It definitely sets the mood and atmosphere for celebrating love. And you don't have to spend a ton of money. A lot of these items came from the dollar store and Party City. And of course I had to incorporate my favorite color aqua. Party City has every color heart shaped balloon you can think of. I mainly focus my decorating on my kitchen, living and dining areas because these are the places where my people gather the most. There is nothing like having fresh flowers in your home. And if you buy flowers for yourself all the time, why not today? It's so much cheaper if you buy them by the dozen and cut and arrange them by yourself. Cut the bottom of the stems at an angle, get a nice tall slender vase, fill it with cold water and some plant food, and you're good to go. Here I'm simply just replacing my winter decor and table settings and incorporating a lot of reds. I want to say every single year, making heart-shaped food has become my tradition. I definitely look forward to making them. And if you have kids, they're going to absolutely love these. It's so much fun to eat. Follow a simple recipe. I like to make mine from scratch. And use margarine if you like crispy edges. They work great for eggs as well. Just crack the egg, drop it in the shape, sprinkle your favorite seasonings, and you're done. This doesn't require a cookie cutter. All you have to do is fold the bacon in half. Guys, presentation is everything. So even if it's just for yourself, jazz it up, make it special. It's your day. I can't wait to be married and walk into the room and surprise my husband and say, baby, here's breakfast. For the love letters, I just basically freestyled it and poured it into the pan as best as I could. And for the strawberries, I just simply wash them, slice them in half, and cut the tops to form the heart shape. I decided to pair it with a strawberry parfait, sticking with a red and pink theme, fresh orange juice, and of course my mint tea. Now, it's time to pop some popcorn, grab a blanket, and get nice and cozy. And you might not be into chick flicks, but comedy and love go hand in hand. They say laughter is good for the soul. 
these are just a few of my favorites. Comment below and tell me some of yours because I'd love to check them out and the other subbies may want to check them out as well. And this movie right here, oh, that's the goat. Yes, because we all know Sis loves some self-love and some self-care. This is the time to give yourself that extra, extra TLC. I know, super cute, right? Go ahead and throw a Galentine's party. I love to host and entertain and give my friends memorable experiences. And yes, we know that there's a pandemic, but just invite a few friends over, have them all wear pajamas, sip some champagne, have some quarantinis, catch up on the latest tea, and eat chocolate covered strawberries. Make it fun. Create an all girls music playlist and have some games. I highly recommend this for the girls game that I got from Target. You just simply roll the dice, whatever color the dice lands on, you pick a card and do whatever the card says. This is my go-to after a long stressful day, but especially on Valentine's Day, it's so soothing to soak in a bathtub. Fill the tub with warm water, add your favorite soap or bath bomb, throw in some rose petals, get some strawberries, some wine, play music, read a book, get your iPad, watch a movie. This is your time to relax and enjoy the warm, soothing ambiance. Love language is physical touch, and whether you're in a relationship or single, book an appointment to either get a couple's massage or go with a friend. Or you can hire a masseuse, they'll come to your house, they'll do the setup. All you have to do is shower and slip into a robe. Being an artist myself, I had to include a paint and set. Just channel your inner Bob Ross or Bobbiana Ross and let your creative juices flow. You can either host to paint and sip at home or if you're solo, grab some supplies from Michaels, Walmart or Target, do your setup and embrace your inner child. There are a lot of painting tutorials that you can follow on YouTube or you can freestyle it or find your inspiration online. Look how absolutely beautiful this turned out. This belongs in a gallery or the MoMA. I'm in the mood to hook y'all up. DM me for quotes if you want one. <laughs> I'm just joking y'all. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. And now that we're all home, it's a great excuse to invest that time into yourself. Maybe you wanted to learn a new language, or be a better chef or seamstress, or learn all about stocks and trading. The options are limitless. You can either go to your nearest library or jump online. There's so many resources of free information. And don't be discouraged or intimidated if things don't go smoothly at first. This is your time to grow and develop. They say perfect practice makes perfect. For some of us, your love language might be receiving gifts. This is a cute spin on the elephant gift exchange. Write down each person's name on a piece of paper, fold it, and each person will take turns drawing a name. Here are just a few examples of what you can include in your gift bag. And it doesn't have to be Valentine's related. You can do coffee mugs, home decor, 
car accessories, toys for the kids, and wine and chocolate for adults. You can either wrap it or box it, or put it in a nice gift bag with some tissue paper. And I absolutely love that Target has gift wrapping for men. You know, men love receiving gifts too. This is gonna be the added excitement to your event. People absolutely love the surprises, expect a lot of laughs and giggles. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice, honey, because I love to shop. And it doesn't have to be anything super materialistic. You can invest in yourself by upgrading your business or your home, buying new software equipment, or investing in real estate. And guys, don't worry, I got you. I know every year you fall victim to spending tons of money on Valentine's Day. Well, now is the time to invest that money in yourself. How about some new car upgrades? or those shades or cigars that you wanted or that new cologne. My bros, it's all about you today too. Yes, this is definitely a thing. Plus, it's your way to get to play Cupid on the low with your single friends. Have them mix and mingle over good conversation and good food. <laughs> you never know what kind of sparks may fly. If you're going out, I would recommend outdoor dining. But if you prefer to host at home, I would suggest a small guest list, possibly 8 to 12 guests. You can hire a chef or have it catered or do a potluck. Set the vibe, light some candles, play some music, and definitely do some icebreakers encouraging your friends to mix and mingle. Oh, it's definitely going to be a good time. Cole Stone Who, okay? Cole Stone Who. Look how cute this little mini heart waffle maker is. I initially saw it online and they happened to be sold out. So I was in Target looking for something else. I happened to come across it, put it in my cart and took it home with me. And I'm so glad that I did because it turned out to be such the perfect little dessert. If you know or you don't, I have such a big sweet tooth and ice cream happens to be my weakness. And it literally took under two minutes to cook each one. Just follow a simple recipe, drizzle it with caramel, chocolate, or pancake syrup, followed by your favorite toppings. I'm gonna go with butter pecan ice cream. And I normally go for haagen dazs but my local supermarket at these buy one get one free. some strawberries, grabbed a spoon, and I satisfied my sweet tooth with no shame. Listen, if 2020 hadn't taught us anything else, it should have awakened your inner entrepreneurial spirit. Guys, there's so much we can do other than sitting around and watching Netflix. Finding a new hobby not only makes you feel more accomplished, but it keeps you occupied and busy. For me personally, I got into scrapbooking, journaling, editing, and filmmaking. I didn't realize how much joy I got from doing those things. And who knows, maybe this just started out as fun, but then it ended up turning into your profession. They say you'll be the most successful with whatever you're the most passionate with. So I say go for it. Start that book, start that podcast. No, it doesn't have to be all about the likes and self-validation. Sometimes you want to just collect happy moments and be beautiful while doing so. If you're not really in the lovey-dovey mood, that's totally fine too. Invest that into things that you've been procrastinating. Maybe you need to donate clothes that you haven't been wearing. Or getting to that laundry that's been sitting there since last week Sunday. <laughs> or giving your condo a fresh coat of paint. And don't overwhelm yourself. Maybe start with a big task, break that one into smaller ones, and you'll be so busy, you won't even remember it's Valentine's Day. The day is all about love, and you love your friends, you love your family, you love being competitive, 
well, I love being competitive. Bring out those old classics and have your friends bring some too. Board games like Monopoly, Scrabble, and Trouble are tons of fun. Everyone seems to love Taboo and Jenga. And Connect Four happens to be my personal favorite. And you can do other games like Life, Clue, Chess, or Checkers. My family absolutely loves playing Bingo, Heads Up, and For the Culture. Order some pizza and wings and get ready for lots of laughs. Yes, I'm a bit old-fashioned, and every single year, I look forward to my dad sending me a Valentine's card. Cards are just another simple way of showing your love and appreciation to someone. Put some thought into it. It doesn't have to be long and drawn out, but make sure that your words are genuine and sincere. You can totally get crafty and make your own card, or send a text with a bunch of cute emojis. I keep all my cards and letters saved in a box that I bought from Michaels years ago. Try to send it at least a week in advance and imagine the surprise you're gonna get when they go to that mailbox. It's gonna make them feel even more special. For my loves that may have just gone through a heartbreak, Maybe you need a change of scenery or an escape. Go online, find the best travel deals, and start packing. Challenge yourself to experience new cultures, learn a new language, try new foods, and meet new friends. Be in the moment. Take in all the sights and scents that you can. And who knows, you may end up meeting your new person on this trip. Every single year, I look forward to doing these. Vision boards are a subconscious reminder of your dreams and goals. And there's three types that you can actually do. But I would recommend for Valentine's Day, a soulmate vision board. Think of things that you want your person to encompass and find pictures that match the description. You can also do a vision board book. This is gonna be more effective than the poster version. Lastly, you can make a collage of your favorite pictures with affirmations and quotes. Oh, this one is pretty easy. Easy on the eyes, that is. Consider doing a movie crush marathon. You know, watching movies of those celebs that you've been obsessing and crushing over. Not sure what I mean? Well, if you love Will Smith, you'll watch Bad Boys, I Am Legend, and Hitch. If you love Halle Berry, you'll watch Catwoman, Boomerang, and Perfect Strangers. Yep, go ahead and sweat it out. Today is all about self-love and self-care. Guys, there's so many benefits to journaling. I've actually been journaling since I was 13. It not only helps to reduce stress and keep your memory sharp, but it also helps to boost your mood and strengthens your emotional functions. I have a personal journal for everyday events and also a business journal for goals and aspirations. It's so rewarding to go back and read past events and see how far I've come. One of my favorite things to do is turn off the TV, the computer, and vibe out to good music. And no, not the sad love songs. Songs that are going to put you in a better mood, relax you, and make you feel good. Good music is actually good for your heart and also helps to improve your sleep. Oh, my guys are going to love this one. Today is also a day to sit back and do absolutely nothing. This year, Valentine's Day happens to fall on a Sunday. So it's a great opportunity to catch up on all the TV shows and series. Watching episode after episode actually makes you feel good. Your brain releases something called dopamine, which gives you the same feeling as if you're eating chocolate. A few of my favorites are Top Boy, Game of Thrones, Black Lightning, Euphoria, and my recent favorite, Money Heist. Okay, so maybe you hate television. Now is also a perfect day to go to the local library, go through all the aisles, and pick whatever book piques your interest. I sit in my favorite spot and get lost in the stories. 
Benefits of reading include mental stimulation, stress reduction, expansion of vocabulary, and memory improvement. Thanks to the pandemic, many of us are not able to go out and meet in social sites as we used to, forcing some to now turn to options like dating sites. It takes out the pressure and nervousness and anxiety of having to meet in person. Of course, you want to be very careful and cautious. When building a profile, you want to be very authentic and genuine. Be clear in your intentions and be very engaging. Make the initial connection, learn about them as much as you can, and then set an actual date. Hey, just because you're single now doesn't mean that you're going to be single forever. So surround yourself with love thoughts, love ideas, and love expressions. And these can come in many forms like books or poems. And there's tons of social sites that you can follow to get your dose of inspiration. I personally recommend the Black Love page because they have a great community, lots of great content, and it's a simple reminder that true love does exist. Yes, bring those amazing talents to the kitchen. You can either make a triple chocolate layer cake, chocolate covered pretzels, or bake some heart shaped cookies. You can also support your local small business by going online and placing an order with them. My loves, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I had so much fun creating this video. Comment below and tell me your favorite parts, and hopefully you found some inspiration and motivation to get you through this holiday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.